Hey, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so... I want to apologize for the, like, the last two days since I haven't had a vlog up, but... Instead, I decided to do a Let's Play. Just to see how that would all pan out. Because, like, I think it's fun. And I want to just something different. I want to see how y'all like it, too. And how y'all res respond to it. So... There you have it for that. I'm gonna get up right now. It's about almost 10 30 ish in the morning. I shouldn't be tired, but I don't fall out. It's about 5. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna get up right now. I'll see you in a bit. Here you are, number one mom. Huh? Number one fucking mom, okay? What? Talking to fucking little lips. I can hear her. I can hear her. I know. She has I that loud voice. She goes, I can't hear you. And the battalion said she could hear you from from the phone. From the kitchen. From the kitchen, I mean. Tell little looks again. Let's say hi. You did it, babe? Your, your godson said hi. Okay. Hi. And I'll run the vlog to you eventually. So, are you going to take her off for her birthday? Put me off for my birthday or what? No, this is sept September 2nd. Hello. What's your trip? Sit down, Ava. You're going to get oranges. Because I just like this spinning right there. Talking to people. And then I want to get it past the fucking Welcome to Mexico. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? What's that number one sister doing? Nothing. Feeding babies. Go see the babies, Dan. Go see the babies, Dan. Go see your nieces, homeboy. What's the matter? What's the matter? Share babies. Look at Share please. Here we go. Share. Take a turn. Next to each other. The tree is like nasty because I said. And she goes, what is Tyler? I go, it looks yum. And then she goes, what does she have? And I go, oranges. And she said, I said, orgies. Orgies, no, honey. <laughs> you be what? You be what? Horny lady, home girl. <laughs> Gross. She likes to cook in bed too, Diana. So the baby. Otherwise, so I'm out here. It's a gorgeous day. The sun is shining on me. All praise to the Most High, as the DJ Khaled once said. I kind of just been sitting here for a bit, laying down, thinking, because um, I was uh, listening to uh, Paradise, the one I just did. I put a video out on my Instagram, a little small mini clip, because I don't have. Cause I'm still trying to think of an idea to do the video for, like how to do it, and how I want to record it and everything. So I just been like. Thinking about that and letting that roll in my mind, and I listen to my SoundCloud because I had a new SoundCloud follower. I don't, I like to promote it, but at the same time, I know many people don't use SoundCloud as much nowadays. So that's the thing. Anyway, so I was listening to it, and then I went on my track before that, which is I believe Feelings, and then after Feelings, I went to Fragile Dreams, the Fragile Dreams, I went to Power Ranger, and then to that go into Waves. I like to consider Waves to be like one of the. Uh, first songs I'm really proud of, it came out in a way that I never would have imagined it, it would have came out. And with every song I've done, I do have certain critiques, because like I always, I'm a perfectionist, so it doesn't, there's times I want to go back and I want to fix things, but I know I can't. Especially like now when it comes to waves, I think about it, and it's like, the only issue I had with it is I think the piano was a little too loud. I like a decibel too loud, if I could have brought that down just a little bit. But... That just goes with experience and learning, you know? So that's my critique for that one. For everything else, it's like... Power Ranger, if I could, I'd probably have all over record this part, learn a song, make it a little stronger. And then, um... Make the effects stand out more. Because I feel like I didn't get much grasp on the effects till it came to recently, when it came to uh, Paradise. Because Paradise has a really good production value on it, and I'm surprised it came out the way it did. Then again, I spent a lot of time... Uh, researching things and coming up with different methods to make it sound the way it does. So, 
again, that took time. Power Ranger I made kind of quickly, in like two days. And I didn't really put as much thought into it. I had thoughts on it, but I didn't put as much effort into it as I should have. Because I wanted it to be out. Because we were rushing it out. Because I was working, and the Random was working. And, yeah. Movie came out, and I wanted to try to use that as like a stepping stone. But, but it didn't work the way I wanted to. And, yeah, yada yada. Blah, 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 blah. So, that's the way that turned out. Fragile Dreams and Feelings are really good. It's just, they're not, I don't know. I consider them songs for me to listen to, but I know they're not like standard songs. They're not like, oh, there's a drum beat, there's a, there's a, dr uh, sorry, there's a drum line, or, or there's a chorus to it, you know? It's just like one verse. And in a way, people will probably consider that copying out because it's not a full song, because it's one verse. But it's, it's understandable. I'm not going to really argue there too much. Oh, yeah, I forgot Glimmer. Glimmer, I could go back and fix, but it's already out there. I can't. There's no point in me trying to go back and fix things. Because with that one, it came to like, maybe the chorus I could have done a little stronger. A little bit more like, oomph into it, you know? With a little bit more, with a little bit more oomph into it, you know? Paradise, I don't know. I don't think I have an issue with it, except maybe the end portion. But that's what it came up with. And I liked the way it came out, so I didn't change it. But times were like, there's times where I'm like, eh. Or like when it comes to the chorus, there's that little section that stands out to me. Because it might be a little too loud, but for some reason, every time I try to change it, it was either too loud or too low, and there was no medium, so I left it as loud. Because some might not notice it, maybe some might, I don't know. I do have certain critiques for everything, though. But that's just me being a perfectionist, you know? Because I can always think of different things, new things. It's like when I do videos, sometimes I'm like, oh, man, I could have said that, and it would have been funnier. But you don't really think about it till you actually look at it and you're like, oh, fuck, I missed the, I missed the opportunity. Like, that just comes with it, though. It just comes with the territory. And sometimes I get sidetracked like how I am now. <laughs> I, I was waiting, so I didn't go yet, so I just laid it down and I'm like, I got, I got sidetracked by um, looking back. Cause sometimes I feel like you have to take a couple steps back to look at everything you've done over the time to make sure that like, you have a growth process. And that you have critiques, because there's one thing that if there's one thing I know and learn when it comes to everything I do, it's just that nothing's perfect. There's always gonna be uh, a critique there. You can't. You're not gonna always be the happiest with something. You're always gonna be like, oh, there's that one thing that stood out. You can't learn unless you realize what your mistakes are. Use those mistakes in your learning process to be able to to use a mistake as your stepping stone and learn from them. Because if we don't learn from them, then we're just gonna make the same mistake over and over again. But I am happy though, there's one thing I'm happy about. Because like, I've been trying to promote more often. Especially when it comes to like what I do, because I want... It's not that I want to say like I want more people to listen, I want more followers, I want more fans. I do, I do. I'm not trying to sound selfish though about it. I want to be noticed, I want my music to be out there. And I want... I don't know. I guess I want more support. Because I know I can do this. But one thing, one thing I'm happy about, because I've been doing these Insta videos, there's this girl a long time ago, I, I guess I met, well I didn't meet her like physically, I just know her from from Instagram. Uh, her name is Bethany. I follow her on Instagram because I saw one of those, um... This is a long time ago, it's about a year and a half ago. I started to like look up different things like, oh, what should I do? I started to use tags more on my Instagram. So I put like, I don't know, like great talent, talent, blah, 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 hashtag talent, blah, blah, blah. And um, there is, they have these, um, I think these little pages on Instagram where they're like, oh, uh, artists under 5K, or blah, 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 you know? Anyway, so they would promote artists. And I guess she was one of the artists that they promoted. She does more, she does cover videos, like funny little cover videos, but she doesn't do them anymore from what she told me. She, she stopped doing them. I forgot, she didn't give me a reason as to why. I kind of felt bad for that. But in a way, I was like, oh, well, she does more, like, more of, like the video side of like Instagram where she posts her videos of what she makes. And I was like, that's a good idea. I'm going to try that. So I started doing that. And like, I would be like, I was saying stupid, like, oh yeah, like, um, I did this video. I'm trying to copy this girl, blah, 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 you know, like, like, but in a, in a joking manner, and she and she thought it was funny. So like we would go back and forth, 
and I would like make more and then apparently from what she told me she was like oh yeah you kind of motivated me to do my to do my videos more because I was kind of like in a in a in a rut with it which is understandable because I get the same way when it comes to like making music because it's hard what scares me when it comes to making music is the fact that it's the concept of losing that creativity that you have because you can only make new things as much as possible and try to make things newer and sound different and that, the idea in the long run scares me it's like oh am I gonna run out of something am I gonna run out of this idea am I not gonna have this idea anymore this this, this form of originality but I know that's just me being uh, pessimistic that's what it is because there's times where I just come up with things out of nowhere I'll be like oh that, they ask funny together you know cause like I'll be like writing or I'll be like walking around or washing the, like, washing the dish or something like that and I'll think to myself like huh what's a new idea okay so there's a hole here trap of foe that runs a hole I want to be whole. Whole, whole. Oh, okay, that works. You know, stupid thing like that. And it kind of just falls into place from there. In any sense. Well, it kind of pushed me to do more of the Insta videos more. So, in the long, to make a long story short, my point was that she uh, motivated me to do these videos. Uh, she stopped now, but I still want to keep going on with it because I feel like it is a good way to promote and get more of a following. Because my following jumped up from like, I don't know, 100 to almost 200 now. And that makes me happy. And what I've noticed when I've been doing videos more, especially the vlog links to Johnny, is that my editing skills and my, and my videos have gotten a lot better because I've been practicing and learning what I could do. And like, I don't know, I feel like I can I can better grasp that now. That's something I wasn't able to do a year and a half ago, or two years ago, or any in any form of sense of that. So, I'm happy that I'm able, I feel like I'm learning and I'm moving. Hey, am I going to continue to learn? Yes, I, I, of course I do. I want to make the best videos or songs I can. Because if I can do that myself, then that's better. No, I'm just rambling on here, but... It, Again, long story short, I'm happy that I'm able to see the progress I'm making. Let's see a bit. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Oh, that's a bit funny. It's like, I'm not for a walk to go. I'm not to walk the area, some of mine and things and everything. And there's so many moments that passed in my mind that made me think, like, wow. It's interesting that. I remember so many uh, faces and people that I've met over the course of my life <laughs> and how many times I've like, walked these roads or let people in and they disappear just like that. I always find it interesting that I can still remember them all too. Remember those moments, whether they were small or whether they were big, whether they were bad or whether they were good. I remember it all for the most part. Sometimes I can't help but miss them. Regardless if it was a relationship or just a friend that I was real close to, you know? But like, I'm happy I met them all. I'm happy I know the people that I've known in my life. Because without them, I would be nobody. Without my family, I'd be nobody either. Because they're the ones that are number one and hold me together. Put, put up on my stupid shit. So, I uh, just want to say thank you to everybody. I appreciate you all.
right, so I'm right here with Johnny. We're at the Walmart. What's up, man? What's up, man? You'll see better when we're inside because you can't see Johnny because Johnny's too dark. It's true. See, now I can see you. Got the right angles. Got the right angles. Look at hair's a mess. Oh, I'm tired. So, we're here to get some firewood because we're going to have a bonfire. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. It's down that way. It's in the camping section. Where? Camping section. Come get your issue, we got bags. The only time I'm not fucking on your bitch and you're on a rag. So kind of. We're out here having a bonfire. There's a swallow. <laughs> this is girlfriend. Johnny's right here next to me. Just I don't know, beached out on the beach. <laughs> beach bum. Beach bum. That's a clean fire though. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera, and you're not gonna be able to see because it's dark as fuck. But over there, there's another uh, another fire pit. These motherfuckers, Johnny's friends, just stole firewood from the fire pit. That's fucking ghetto as shit. That's fucking ratchet, dog. Fucking extra. Look at that. You can see the, you can see the embers on it still. You see it coming closer? That's them. That's fucking savage. The savage level went up. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. Y'all fucking ghetto as shit. We're finished. There's Johnny right there. On the other car over there, you can't really see. Is all the Waldo. And there's his girlfriend again. Say hi. You're part of the vlog. My man. Johnny. Get up. Oh. Peep the mixtape. Peep the mixtape, everyone. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna head back right now. I'm gonna head home. Johnny can give me a ride there. And there's a swallow and his girlfriend right there in that car. Fucking dipping. It's been a fun, it's been a fun good day. Really good day. Pretty chill for me, and uh, it was relaxing to do something different and kick it with a bunch of friends. Even though I didn't, I didn't really know most of them. Like I didn't know his girlfriend that well. I knew who she was, but I didn't know her personally. I feel like I did, I do now. And everybody I've met so far has been really cool. I'm actually really happy. So I'm gonna mark this as the end of the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I know you can't see me that well, but. Uh, Y'all take care now. Peace.